Health authorities say Chinese researchers are looking to see if three existing drugs can inhibit the novel coronavirus. The first, arimidazivir, was originally developed for Ebola and will be tested on over 200 patients. The other two are chloroquine and ritonavir. Data are now being is now being collected in clinical trials to test their effectiveness. Outside China, Thai doctors say they have seen successes in treating severe cases with a drug cocktail for flu and HIV. Earlier, we spoke to Dr. Glenn Golton, head of the University of Pennsylvania Center for Global Health, to learn more. Remdesivir is developed by uh, Gilead, the company Gilead. It, it blocks the ability of the virus to replicate its own genetic material. Um, and this drug has never actually been approved by the FDA in the United States or in any other country. Uh, so it's a highly experimental drug, uh, and we'll see how effective it is. Chloroquine is actually developed in the 1930s to treat malaria. Uh, what it does is it changes the uh, acidity of vesicles with inside of your cells so that when the virus enters, the virus, uh, the coronavirus can't uh, go through its normal replication pathways. Um, is moderately effective, I would say, uh, not spectacularly so. And the last one you mentioned is ritonavir. Ritonavir was actually developed to treat HIV. Uh, it's usually used in combination with one or two other drugs that block the ability of the virus to copy its proteins so that the new viral particles can form and be released into your body and go and infect other cells of your body and then be released uh, to infect other people. So the short story is all of the drugs need to be tried, but the reality is there is no drug uh, that is supremely effective in treating uh, any coronavirus, let alone this new form.